Whatever you do, get outside on Thursday to see the partial solar eclipse. There will be only one more solar eclipse this decade in the U.S. But the big question is, how can you view it or photograph it without hurting your eyes? I'm Shannon Ray Green, and this is Zoom In. I'm sure you learned about eclipses in middle school, but a quick refresher. When the moon gets in the way of the sun, it covers up a portion of it, but only people at the right angle on the Earth's surface get to watch it happen. On the East Coast, the eclipse is starting around happy hour in the 5 o'clock hour, but closer to 6. And that's when the sunset will mess up the show playing out in the sky. But as you go across the time zones towards the West Coast, gazers will be able to watch the eclipse without the sunset clouding anyone's view. Since it's a partial eclipse, some regions will see the moon black out more of the sun than in other places. The best seats are in Seattle, where 64% of the sun will be covered up by the moon. People love taking photos of any eclipse, but it's much easier to take a picture of a lunar eclipse since looking at the moon doesn't hurt your eyes. Looking directly at the sun, whether there's an eclipse or not, can permanently damage your eyes. And did you know, to know that pointing your camera at the sun can damage the lens as well? But there are options. You can use filters made of mylar or glass for your eyes and camera that can be purchased online. Practice with them before the eclipse because you don't want to be figuring out settings during your rare chance to capture it.